And in my opinion, as I've grown as an educator and as I've grown as a person, I've come to the understanding that being revolutionary means that there is no box. You know how some people say, you know, think outside the box, or some people might say walk outside the circle? Well, there is no box. There's no circle for me. There's no limit to what I can do. What I can do. I was a um, design professor and I taught illustration. And our books that we used were all white people in the books. There was never any figures that were of color. And that had a big impact on our students of color because then that's what they learn. And then when they go out into the industry, they don't know how to diversify their illustrations, right? So it's important, no matter what age you are, that the kid be, be able to see themselves in the curriculum. Students can feel when you don't love them. They can feel when you don't trust them. They can feel it. And they're not gonna be their best expressive selves if they don't feel like they can trust you. One of the ways that the teachers can come into the environment and be ready to empower is if they empower themselves first. I started thinking differently than anybody in my family. And that's what your students are doing. Your students that are first generation, they think differently than anybody in their household. And it takes a revolutionary mind to think that way. 